let's see how ultimate Coco's modern format innovation pans out. The field of play is a rectangular court with two poles stuck in the ground at each end. Basis toss, the winning team opts to either chase or defend first. Accordingly, the teams are called chasing team and defending team. There are four innings of seven minutes each, giving both teams two sets of equal opportunity to chase as well as defend. Any time during the match, nine players from the chasing team and three players from the defending remain inside the field of play. Chasing team takes the field with eight chasers sitting at the center line and facing opposite directions from the center line. The ninth chaser stands next to a pole. Three players from the defending team enter the field of play and the chase begins. The objective for the chasing team is to capture as many defenders as possible by tagging them within the seven minute innings. During the match, the defenders can cross the center line and run in any direction to escape from the chaser, while the chaser can only run in his side of court in any one direction, except the wazir, the ace chaser, who is free to run in either direction. In order to chase down the defenders, a chaser can switch his position with any of his teammates by touching a sitting teammate on the back and shouting Ko. Tagging each defender by pole dive and sky dive will award two points to the chasing team. The defending team too will be awarded one point for every defender staying in the court for more than three minutes. The team with the maximum number of points at the end of the fourth innings will win the game. With all motor skills involved at its optimum level, speed, force, endurance, coordination and flexibility, we present to you the new avatar of our very own Indian sport of dodging and diving, twists and turns, agility and lightning reflexes. Coco is set to bring back nostalgic moments. Your own game Ultimate Coco